Hi, it's Paul Rosen, The Rosen Report, powered by the National Benefit Authority. And the uh, guest this morning is uh, a great friend, great Paralympian, great role model, Rob Snook. Welcome, Rob. Oh, thanks, Paul. It's a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Rob, uh, Rob was born in uh, 1969, a couple years after the Leafs won the Cup, but we'll talk <laughs> about that. Rob is the voice of the Peterborough Peets in the OHL. For zo- those of you who don't know the Peterborough Peets, one of the most famous hockey teams in OHL history. Rob is a CBC commentator and has been a part of the CBC for many, many games. And uh, Rob, I think the most famous thing uh, from Rob, with, uh, with my, in, in my opinion, is Rob was a defenseman in the 2003 Amputee World Championships hockey. He was the best defenseman in Helsinki, Finland. And uh, I think he, uh, he even shocked himself by what he did, but he, he never shocked me because I knew uh, the, uh, the athlete and the person he was. And uh, tell everybody a little bit about your backstory and, uh, and how you became a Paralympian, Rob. Well, Rosie, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say that that was... Um I was shocked when they gave me the award, first of all, because I thought there were others that were more deserving. Uh, I love playing hockey. I've played all my life. You made me a defenseman. You were the coach of that team, so I, I didn't expect that. That's for sure. Uh, my background is a, was a track and field athlete, and I only got into... I always played hockey, but I, I, you know, through the, the bulk of my Paralympic career, I was a track and field athlete, a sprinter, a sprinter and a long jumper. And so I competed in uh, Barcelona in 92, Atlanta in 1996, and Sydney in 2000, and uh, it had some pretty good results. Uh, was never on the podium at the Paralympic Games, uh, but did win a couple of medals at World Championships, including a silver medal in 1998. Uh, and then, with the uh, amputee hockey team, won a gold medal, and that was kind of the, uh, the bookend yeah. to my career. And then since then, I've kind of stepped aside in terms of being an, an elite athlete and followed my own kids and their careers in, in sport, and, uh, and then chased my dream as a broadcaster yeah. since then. Well, Rob, you are on the podium here on the Rosen Report. I will guarantee that. <laughs> so good. commentary, and I know we've worked together in, uh, in, for the games in Sochi with uh, the sled hockey, and we've worked together in a few sled hockey events. How, how did commentary, how, how did you find being a, a commentator from being an athlete? What was the, the transition? It's more work. Yes. Being a commentator. I mean, it's a, it's a 16 hour day in many cases. You're prepping, you're doing, you know, interviews, you're at the rink, you're, or at the track or wherever you are. Uh, a lot is expected of you in terms of pumping out material, which is good. And it's, it, it's, you know, you get energy from it. You love it. You love being part of it. But it's a lot of work. Whereas you're, when you're an athlete, yeah. you know this, you get to the games and you're expected to perform at the highest level. In order to do that, you rest, you rest a little more, right. you eat, maybe you do a little training, and then you get you're into prepared. the games. Yes. You're prepared. Yeah. And so there's a different expectation about performance. Um, it's, but it's a little bit less pressure being a broadcaster, a little more work, right. you know, intensity-wise, but you know, in terms of being an athlete, it's, there's a lot of pressure that you kind of feel you know, over and above uh, everything else. This is Paul Rosen for The Rosen Report, and we'll be back after these messages. The National Benefit Authority helps people with disabilities receive the disability tax credit from the Canadian government. We navigate all obstacles with you to determine your eligibility and position you best for a successful 10-year retroactive claim and receive up to $20,000 for an adult and $50,000 for a child. The National Benefit Authority went back 10 years and got me money I didn't even know was mine. Get the money you deserve. Call us at 1-855-456-6688. Let's, uh, let's talk baseball. I, uh, I know you, uh, you probably have some, uh, some views on uh, Toronto. We, I'm a Blue Jay fan. I'm a Red Sox fan. And back in the day, there was no Blue Jays when I started following the Red Sox. But... Um, as a big city, Toronto, where do you see this team going with, uh, with this Toronto Blue Jay team? Well, you, you, first of all, you love the way the fans have embraced it. 
you know, you're getting midweek crowds of 41,000, yep. almost 42,000. You're getting absolute sellouts on the weekends. You know, my wife says to me, I tried to get you some tickets on Father's Day, but the games that I was looking yep. at were, it was, you know, it wasn't going to happen. Yep. And so that's great. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know where they go with the Bautistas and the Encarnacions and the you know, Donaldsons in the long term. Um, but it, again, you feel like you are slowly building something. You're closer, of course, than the Maple Leafs are. Yeah. So maybe, maybe it's a time for a little tweak here and there. Everybody in baseball is trying to find guys in their bullpen. Right. And obviously the Jays need help in that area. And it sure was a fun ride, though, yes. last fall, wasn't it? Absolutely. And unbelievable Incredible. how the, the, not just the city, but the country gravitated and, and well I, I, li I live a couple of blocks from the uh, Rogers Center and it is I know when the Blue Jay game is insane because it takes me 45 minutes to go two blocks <laughs> so the uh, we'll hope that the Blue Jays will take it to the next level very soon we will hope that the uh, that the Leafs for you and the Greg Westlakes and the massive Leaf fans <laughs> will win a cup at some point I'm not greedy. The Hawks have won three cups in the last 10 years in my life, so I'm pretty cool with that. A you know, few uh, world championships with the uh, Boston Red Sox, so I'm okay. Uh, let me ask you this, Rob. Um, if Rob Snook now could go back and talk to, I know you just your daughter was just married recently. Congratulations on that. Yeah, if you could go back, Rob, and talk to the 15-year-old Rob Snook, knowing what you know now, what would you say to him? Wow. I'd say buckle up, kid. It's going to be a fun ride. Um, you know, and, and uh, just believe in, in y your dreams and your passions and, and chase them to the, to the nth degree. You know, don't, don't be swayed. Um, and for me, my, my career as an athlete was always about personal best. You know, trying to be better today than I was yesterday right. and trying to create that envelope of you know potential so that I'm better next week and next year and, and I think as that 15 year old kid I would have pounded that in maybe just a little earlier don't worry about what other people are doing just just you know chase that passion and I, that's one thing I fell in love with in my athletic career is you know that passion for personal best yeah. and I tried to keep that in my you know, broadcasting career and in my other pursuits. Well, I know you do a great job. Listen, everybody out there that's watching the Rosen Report, I, I am telling you, if you wanna see some incredible reporting, um, Rob Snook is an incredible guy. Integrity, uh, determination, um, hard work, perseverance, that's what he, uh, he brings to the table. CBC, Olympic Games, Paralympic Games, watch it, and you will be blown away by the athletes all over the world, but by the reporting that Rob will bring to the table. I know that personally because I've had a chance to sit beside him in the broadcast booth. Rob, we, uh, we're coming to the favorite part of the Rosen Report. And the Rosen Report is powered by the National Benefit Authority. It is rapid fire, uh -oh. Robbie. I don't know, you get the, do you have a seatbelt on there? I'm, I'm strapping in, yep, ready Strap to go. Strap in, get ready, everybody. This is it, rapid fire, the Rosen Report. Favorite movie? Star Wars. Favorite restaurant? Jim's Pizza in Port Hope, Ontario. Hmm. Name of your first pet? Oh, well, I had a raccoon named Ernie, believe it or not. Raccoon named Ernie. It was in grade the seven. The only rural... <laughs> Canada, could you have a raccoon as your pet? You find somebody in Russia, in the Czech Republic, in Australia, not a chance. But in rural Canada, a raccoon named Ernie. Love it. First car. 1964 Ford Falcon. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite band? Um, you 2 and Rush. Kind of as oh. a teenager, yeah. We've had a couple of U2s uh, yeah. as favorite bands. Favorite country? To, to be in, in the world? Just your favorite country, yeah. Canada. Okay. Favorite city? Hmm. Luzerne, Switzerland. Wow. Yeah, it's got awesome. everything. 
It's yeah. got the lake, it's got the mountains, it's got the people, it's got the little town, it's got the European thing going on. Love it. Lucerne. Fantastic. Favorite food? Pizza. Okay. Favorite sport? Wow. I first tw uh, 15 years of my life, hockey, then track and field for a decade and a half, and then now a sort of a split in between. But I, I've covered 18 sports doing play-by-play. -play. Every time I get into it, research it, fall in love with it. But I'd say probably track and field and hockey are tied for one, and, uh, and then volleyball's right there, and I get to call it this summer, so lucky. Fantastic. And uh, one thing, if you could change one thing about the world right now, what would it be? I would get all of the world leaders to play golf together. All right. And I think that just spending time, people who are in danger of getting in battles and wars and conflict, it doesn't have to be golf. It could be table tennis. Right. It could be hockey. It could be soccer. Um, but I think that when people are involved in sport, that they find healthier outlets for their aggression. And I think that would make the world a better place. That is a great answer. I appreciate it. Rob. Thanks, Rosie. Thank you so much. This is Paul Rosen for the Rosen Report, powered by the National Benefit Authority. My guest today has been Rob Snook. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.